Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zonky. So, for this guide, I figured I've had so many people ask me, how do you kill Queen Black Dragon when you don't have stuff like Dragors and Overloads and Turmoil? Because if you do watch my Queen Black Dragon guide, I use things like that, and the kill is very easy, and it only takes a couple minutes. However, there are lots of people out there that still want to get a Royal Crossbow, and are possibly lower level, don't even have chaotic weapons yet, uh, don't have stuff like Super Anti-Fires or Turmoil Curses unlocked. So this guide is going to be for you if you're one of those people. Um, I'm going to show you a quick little setup that worked very well for me in Queen Black Dragon, and also give you a couple alternatives if you think this looks good, but you don't quite have the stats for it. So first of all, at looking at my gear that I have here, I'm wearing full War Priest of Ceridomen. I'd recommend this if you mage, because regular magic armor has very bad range defense. Um, well, actually, has no re range defense. And this War Priest stuff has much better range defense, and you can use it with magic without it affecting your accuracy. Um, you can also range this boss, and if you do, I'd recommend to wear range armor. Uh, if you do range, you can also wear like just War Priest, exactly like I'm wearing, and the only thing that you have to change is swap out the Staff of Light for a hand cannon, and uh, wear some hand cannon shot as ammo. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you in the kill how to kill with this gear. Um, I'm wearing a Staff of Light. You can also use a Vissel Wand and Orb if you have that. I decided to use under level 80 weapons. Um, Amulet of Fury, a Six Age Circuit. You can also use a Seer's Ring or a Amulet of Glory. Those work pretty well as well. I also have this Aura Supreme Runic Accuracy, which helps quite a bit during the Queen Black Dragon kill. So if you have some loyalty points left over, I'd recommend to get it. It helps with a lot of bosses um, if you don't have really high level magic because I use this at Calfight King all the time, and it really helps out a lot. It helps me get drops, um, so I'd recommend to buy it if you if you're looking into getting into bossing, or even if you want to do more than just one Queen Black Dragon kill. Um, you can kill it without the ore, though it's not necessary. I did use the Yak, but I only put 18 sharks in the Yak because that's how much a War Tortoise can hold. So if you don't have 96 summoning, which if you're watching this guide, you probably don't, just bring a War Tortoise and fill it this much with sharks because you'll have 18 spaces in there. And in your inventory, you want a Super Magic Potion, an Anti-Fire. I know they're two dose, but you don't use all four doses during the kill anyway. Um, two Prayer Potions, a Anti-Dragon Shield, Air Runes, and an inventory full of sharks. Um, and this is this setup works quite well. Um, I didn't even use all the food. I still had quite a bit of food left after the kill. Um, so it, it took me also five minutes to do this kill. A little bit under five minutes. So even if you don't have 99 magic, um, you sh still should be able to do this fairly easily with the gear that I'm wearing uh, and just following the method that I took. So some things that you really want to take advantage of is the sunshine ability. If you have completed the World Wakes quest, you definitely want to be using this. If you don't have it, that's fine. What you can do is go under your magic abilities and use Metamorphosis. Uh, it does the same thing, it just lasts 10 seconds less, so um, it still is fairly effective. You just have a little less time to get the damage off. But anyway, other than that, uh, copy my action bar exactly the way I have it. Four basics, Rack, Chain, Sonic Wave, and Impact. Asphyxiate and Wild Magic, you want to use those as much as possible, and then the Sunshine. As soon as you get up to 100% Adrenaline, use that, or Metamorphosis if you haven't completed the World Wakes. But anyway, uh, enough with the gear and inventory setup, let's move on into the kill and show you guys how I did this. So this actually did take me two attempts, admittedly, to kill the Queen Black Dragon with this setup. However, the first attempt, I kind of uh, missed an Anti-Dragon Shield switch and got flamed pretty hard and uh, died in one hit. So anyway, um, the only thing you really have to watch out for is the Tortured Souls. You want to kill them as fast as possible. Um, you do tank them in my higher level guide, but yeah, with the lower level, you kill the QBD rather slowly, so you want to be hit by the Tortured Souls as little as possible. You don't want to be taking, um, you know, two or three hits per phase of the Queen Black Dragon by the Tortured Souls. And also the Fire Waves, which you'll see one coming up pretty soon. Her regular Fire Attack doesn't do that much damage. Um, even with only a regular anti-fire potion, not a super anti-fire potion. But just make sure you equip that anti-dragon shield before any of the fire waves happen. I equip it a little bit late here, and as you see, I get hit in 1800. Um, but with that anti-dragon shield equipped, you only get hit 750. So what you want to do is stand back, wait for the fire waves to come towards you, equip the shield, and then just run through all of them really quick, and then equip your staff again. And that's how you get through the, uh, the fire waves pretty easily. As you see, I do it much better here. Um, but anyway, I'm going through these waves really quick. Uh, again, that Supreme Runic Accuracy Aura does help a lot. 
If you don't have it, it's not a necessity. You can also turn on your regular prayers. If you are in the regular prayer book, you can just turn on your magic accuracy boosting and magic damage boosting prayer, and that will help a little bit. It'll probably help almost as much as the runic accuracy does. Um, but anyway, I did get blue phased here, which is unfortunate because when QBD is blue, then that means she is stronger versus magic, so she's much harder to hit with magic. It's great if you're meleeing or ranging, but if you are maging, it's more difficult. Um, but anyway, you can also bring a range switch like a, I don't know, a uh, black salamander or a hand cannon if you like, just in case you get a blue phase, and they'll let, let you get through that a little bit quicker. Um, you also got to watch out for the super hot flames. I did not know this, but um, even if you're staying by the side, you can still get hit pretty hard if you don't have your anti-dragon shield equipped on the fourth phase, so just make sure that, of that. Also, kill the um, the tortured souls in the corners if they start saying stuff to avoid the time stop because otherwise you can get frozen and probably die. But if you are going for your royal crossbow, the second you see that orange text, um, just immediately run to the center and start spam clicking on your royal crossbow to forge it. It does not matter if you die um, as long as you forge the royal crossbow. But anyway, that's about all for this guide. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped. Stay tuned for future guides. You know the drill. Farewell.